exploring our land because we found Jasper. It's been really fun to explore and just go stone hunting. There's a prehistoric beast that's been following us on our property. Bodie, be quiet. The prehistoric beast is gonna get you. There it is. Oh, prehistoric beast. <laughs> go, go, run from the beast. Run for your life. <laughs> it's just so much Jasper out here. You don't even really have to look that hard. This right here, I believe, is Jasper. My phone died while I was walking around, but I actually found, I found this. I was getting it a little bit wet because I think it has some dirt on it. So as you can see, it's just, it's just such a, like a reddish orange color with like little lines through it. I'm just gonna put this here. I also found some other ones as well. It's there. And this was only just from looking for like maybe just a couple minutes. These are all the ones that I found so far. I found this one. This one's like more of like a rainbow one. There was just, and some of these actually, this one has like a little bit in it, if you can tell. You can really tell when you get it wet. This one right here has a little bit in it. This one right here, if you get this wet. I don't know if that is it, but I don't know if that has a little bit in it or not. It's hard to tell with some of them where I'm not an expert at this, but apparently Jasper is a... So Jasper yeah. is a gemstone. It's said to have like healing properties and stuff. Like it's supposed to... Um, they, they used to think it would treat snake bites and it also intensified orgasms. I also saw on there that... I saw online that it's also really good for grounding. And yeah, it has like healing properties. It's just very... Um, it helps ward off like neg negative energy. So I, I don't know. It's really cool. And some of this right here... This is a black one, so I don't know if black jasper is a thing. And then there's also some yellow. This right here is like a yellow one. I don't know, it's just crazy. This one's like black with red in it. It's kind of hard to tell though, because it's still a little bit dirty, but. I think that also might've been why when Dan and I first came to check out the property, I feel like we both kind of just knew, like we felt like this like really beautiful positive energy, um, this positive energy when we came up on the land. Um, really even just driving down this road right here. And I wonder if it was us sensing like all these like precious stones. And that's why like honestly we were thinking about it. We're like, we could sell this, but I think, bye, don't hate me. Cause you ain't me. Yeah. I mean, with stuff like this, you could always sell it. I mean, I don't think you can get a lot. But I think both of us were thinking about it and we were like, that's, we don't want to like get rid of the preciousness of the land. That's something that's really beautiful about the land that makes it so special. And so I think doing that would take away some of that, just how special it is to us. We we'll probably might go collect it and just like kind of put it around our yard, <laughs> but um, yeah. Cause you can always also just like polish it down and you can, you know, you can make one piece into small pieces and you can polish it and you can make it like, um, you know, into little shapes and you can make jewelry with it. But um, I am a big believer in that, that as you change like the, the natural nature of the stone, it loses some of its special properties. And so I think keeping it in its raw form possible. We've been kind of slacking on the video, um, the weekly videos. Um, and I think all, honestly, we never want to keep ourselves set to just like a set date. Like we will try our best, but life happens and sometimes things come up. I've been going through kind of the ringer lately. And so this is the first couple days that I've kind of felt back to normal. And so yeah, I'm just happy that I am on the mend and feeling better. Weaning a child from breast milk is a really hard experience. Um, and I think the issue that I ran into is I tried to do it too fast. 
Um, I went from doing it like 10 times a day to like three times a day. So that was really intense and I don't want to experience that anymore. So yeah, I'm just gonna do it gradually and I think that'll kind of solve the issue. But people don't really tell you about this stuff, you know, you don't really hear a lot about it. And I think that um, there should really be more support out there for moms um, in general, um, new moms and people who are weaning and postpartum and stuff like that. So thank you guys for tuning into this video. And we are going to have some a lot more exciting content coming soon. We have so many things that are going to be in the works coming up in the next just even like week or two um yeah some really exciting stuff we have like a big solar system that we're going to be setting up we have some tiling we're going to be doing we're going to be building out the inside of the shed we want to start doing a greenhouse um, we will see you guys in the next video